Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Easy Chess Shop plugin. So this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to super easily create shops like this using just one command and a couple of clicks. And what you can do is heavily customize the GUI in game, which is really nice. So let's just jump into it. So you can see here we've got a couple of different shops. This first one is both buy and sell, and this one on the right is buy only. And when you get in the GUI, you can customize whether it is both or just one. And then you can customize a variety of other stuff. So if we were to right click this chest, we can see what the GUI looks like. And now, of course, this is what it is for an admin. Um, if you're not an admin, you obviously won't get settings and the admin view here. So let's start down at the bottom left. If we click admin view, this is the storage of the chest. This is where you want to put all of the items so that people can actually buy them from the chest. And then if we go to the sign in the middle, it says left click for custom sell, right click for custom buy. And it says you can totally sell zero items and you can buy 25. Now the reason you can't sell any is because it is full. So let's take some out. And then now that says you can sell three and buy 22. Now up here, it shows the initial buy and sell price. But what you can do is either sell 64 you can sell one or buy one or buy 64. You can customize all the items in here. You can see I replace this with a diamond shovel. It looks a bit random, but if I were to click this, it's going to sell one of these for $50 and I could do that a couple more times until it is full. So that's how easy it is to buy and sell. Now you can see in chat, it is spamming, showing what has been bought and sold. You can disable that. So if we go to the settings over here, you can toggle the transaction message off and that will prevent anything from popping up in chat. You can disable buying if you want to. So if we get rid of that, you can see that it now has refreshed the hologram and it only says sell, which is pretty handy if you don't want that. You can obviously disable selling as well. And then shop admins, you can left click to add someone. So if there was someone called Dave on the server, you could add them to be an admin and they could edit stuff as well. And then the hologram rotation, this one you want to change uh, to your liking. So there's a few different options here and you can right click to go across the options from north, east, south, west and down. This one is south and then if I were to go back to north for example, it's going to be behind it and then obviously there's east and west and then up and down. So it just depends where your shop is and then how easy it is for a player to see it. So. I think uh, I think up is the best, so we'll we'll leave it at that. And then customize a hologram. You can right click to manage and left click to add a custom one if you want to. And then you can also edit buy and sell price. So if we left click this, uh, let's set the new price to forty nine dollars, for example. And then that has updated it. So that is how you would customize it. But how do you actually create one? Well, if we do four slash e c s and hit enter, you can see there's only a few commands. Now to create a shop, we need to be holding the item in our hand. We can do ECS create, and then let's do 500 and 200. And then that's gonna create a chest shop in front of us. And it says the shop is empty because in the admin view, we haven't added any diamonds and here they are. And there we go. So that is us creating a brand new shop. Now, what we can do is edit the GUI so we don't have to look at this ugly mess anymore. The way we do that is the ECS admin command and then we're going to want to configure hyphen GUIs. Open this up and then we'll go into the shop GUI and then we are going to want to modify the items. And what we can do here is click it and then we're gonna click again and then click the red die and that will replace it and as you can see here this one is glowing because you can make it enchanted if you want uh, but obviously you could change all of these items uh, if you really wanted to now you can see I've changed the background to a light blue candle and that looks quite ridiculous I think it looks much better before but obviously you can customize it to your liking and if you go back into this, you can look at the transaction logs as well and change how many rows there are. So that is just an idea of what you can do uh, with the customization of the GUI. Obviously, there's a couple of other commands. There's the ECS remove while looking at a chest and that will obviously get rid of it. So here we are on the bucket page. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of information and useful photos here showing you what it's like and all the features of it. Now, if you want extra help, there is the wiki here you can click on. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.